In this video we're going to have a look at what a polygon is and what the word polygon means. Okay, well we'll start off with a little bit of an English lesson. It might seem a little bit silly but all of these words come from somewhere and it can be really useful sometimes to be able to recognise common bits of maths words to work out what they mean. So, we've got poly at the start and that means many. So, some English words you might have heard of. Um, polymorph is a word that means many forms. So, something with a lot of forms or a lot of different ways of presenting itself might be called a polymorph. And there's also a word that's polymath. You might not have heard of it, but what that means is somebody with lots of different skills. So, you might find somebody who's particularly good, I don't know, at languages, art, maths and music might be called a polymath because they've got skills in lots of different areas. So poly means many. And the word gone kind of roughly means angle. So you might have seen the word hexagon in maths and that's a shape. Usually people think about it as being a six-sided shape but actually what it really means is it's a shape that's got six angles. Now if you think about it, any shape that you draw that's got six sides also has to have six angles. A hexagon is actually an example of a polygon. So the word polygon literally means a shape with many angles. Now that's what it literally means, that's not a particularly useful definition. It's more helpful to think about it like this. So a polygon is a closed 2D shape. So it's 2D shape, not a 3D shape. It's closed which means that it's a complete shape, there's no ways into it. So for example, a shape like this would not be closed because, well, there's an entire side here that's not filled in. So that's an open shape. In fact, that's not even really a shape. So a polygon has to be a closed shape and it's made of straight lines. So a circle's not a polygon or any shape with a curved edge in it isn't a polygon either. So I'll just give you a few examples of some polygons. So just a few random ones I've drawn there. You might recognise some of them. So we can see that this one here is a square. This one here is a triangle. It's actually an isosceles triangle because these two sides here are the same length. This one's a pentagon. It's got five sides. Um, and this is also a four-sided shape, like my square. But this doesn't really appear to be anything special. And I've also got a shape here which looks really, really bizarre. This is still a polygon. It's not one you're probably used to seeing, but this is actually, if you count the sides, one, two, three, four, five, it's actually a five-sided shape. So this shape would be a pentagon. And let's have a look at some that aren't polygons. So we've got, as I mentioned before, the circle. It's got no straight sides at all. That's not a polygon. We've got a semicircle type shape here. It's got one straight edge there, but it's got a curve, so that's definitely not a polygon. Um, a nice little love heart shape there, completely made out of curves, not a polygon. And then this shape here, which is made up of two sort of circular arcs, that's definitely not a polygon either. So you need to know what a polygon is. You need to be able to recognize them. And they're basically 2D shapes made up of straight lines. To find out how you can use polygons and what you can do with what we've just learnt about, check out some of my other videos. Thanks for watching.